Heads, we're very excited. Today we're going to have a look at the 2022 Unity Twin Bed and we also are going to have a little look at the Island Bed. They're very, very similar, just a different back sleeping area. Remember that story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Well, you've got the small van, too small. you got the big Class A, too big. And then you have the Unity Twin Bed, just right. Hey, if you're looking for a small motorhome that's got great interior storage, great exterior storage, 25 feet 1 inch long, 7 feet 10 inches wide, 10 feet 6 inches high, interior ceiling height is 6 foot 5 as well, so you have a beautiful small motorhome that you can take anywhere. Right now we just stopped in the beautiful Pemina Valley here. We have the leveling jacks down, we set up camp in about 2 minutes and we're ready to go. So let's have a look inside this beautiful motorhome. Come on in. Hey, welcome inside the 2022 Unity Twin Bed Island Bed. Uh, both floor plans are very, very similar, especially from the bedroom area forward. Uh, twin Bed obviously has two twins in the back. Island Bed has a walk around Island Bed, but this part that you see here is exactly the same. And let's talk about some colors. Right now, this is for 2022. We have two new wood colors, one being cashmere, which this one is. We also have natural rift. We have Vancouver maple and espresso. We also have a nice option of upper cabinets done in a Phoenix white material, which is absolutely great. And we have three different leather colors. This is mountain. We also have earth and fog and two different countertops. This is Antarctica white and we also have concrete. So you have many different ways that you can customize the colors in your motorhome to exactly what you like. So great feature on the twin bed and the island bed is how much room I have here. So we have four seat belts, one, two, three, four. This area makes into a super single bed and a chaise lounge. We have an optional air mattress so you can sleep up to four people in the motor room. So two in the back, two up in the front. And when you've got lots of room and space, look at this, lots of room. Table's gonna go in here so I can have dinner for up to four people. And plus these seats are great for watching the TV. We also have a Bluetooth sound bar and we have a smart Blu-ray player. You can watch your favorite movies. Both the driver and passenger seats turn and swivel from Mercedes-Benz. Little leg extension for us dudes with 34 inch inseams, which is kind of nice. And just lots of space. You can watch TV. You can use this as a work area. It can be an office, entertainment area for playing cards, playing board games, chilling back, relaxing kicking back and just enjoying the great outdoors okay we're gonna talk about this multi-functional area up front so first we're gonna make it into a dining room table why not locks right in place you can actually lock this in and this table will not move at all folding leaves you can expand it but I mean it's super strong look at this this is strong 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 yeah, so from a dining room area to a office desk maybe, or you can use it for cards, games, and uh, we quickly move it from a dining room area. So you can make, also make it into a single bed, and then with the optional air mattress, make it a sleeping area for up to two more people. So this is very cool. We have a little ottoman underneath here. Second cushion slides in here, so I can use an ottoman like this. I can use it as an ottoman over here for watching TV. Kicking back, chilling, or chaise lounge, working on your iPad or your computer, or and we're gonna just flip this piece over here and we're gonna make it into a bed. So to make it into a single bed, we just take the tabletop, we just slide it in here. This comes across, then we fill in the cushions and I have a beautiful single bed. Look at that. Oh, super long, well over six feet. So you have a super single bed, or you can order the optional air mattress, and that'll fill up this area here so you can have sleeping up to two people in the front. Okay, so what a great multi-purpose area. Dining room, office area, card table, sitting area, watching entertainment, watching TV. We also have USB charging ports and a 110 electrical outlet plug. Up here, we've got some storage space. We also have the optional safe that goes there. Right here is your front curtain blind that goes across the front windshield for privacy at night. And over here, we have our optional air mattress. We also have our owner's uh, bag in there. Storage here. Over 
here we have our optional 200 watt or 400 watt rigid solar panels that's new for 2022 nice option to have if you do a lot of dry camping you want to trickle charge those house batteries all the time more storage up here this is a, a vacuum bonded roof up there six foot five interior height full fiberglass flex roof plus up on that roof we've got our 15,000 BTU air conditioner we have our Wi-Fi booster optional solar panels everything is completely sealed up on that roof we have our beautiful opening skylight as you can see here opens all the way up lots of beautiful blue sky you can have some uh, privacy keep the sunshine off of you you can also keep the bugs or you can go half and half LED lights you can see we've got ducted air conditioning throughout the entire motor home once again 15,000 BTU air conditioner work our way over to here we have our service center inside the motor home okay let's start over here on the left so this controls all the interior control centers so over on this side let's start off with our optional leveling jacks these are hydraulic leveling jacks four points so you have four of them for leveling the coach they automatically level the coach this particular motor home has the optional lithium battery so we have a great option of two 100 amp lithium batteries so a total of 200 amps Lithium batteries don't like the cold, so once they get to 36, they start not wanting to take a charge. Turn on that switch, that'll keep those batteries nice and warm. When you order the lithium battery option, we actually invert the microwave. So the microwave is inverted. So if you want to make sure you want to do some dry camping, you want to warm something up in the microwave, make sure you order the lithium battery option. Next, we got our Truma Aquago Comfort Plus hot water heater. So we can control that right here. So we have we have Eco, we have Comfort Plus. Right here we have our Truma Aquago Comfort Plus hot water heater control setting. So you can uh, set it to uh, Comfort Plus, which heats that one liter of hot water. You can have it on Eco, which it doesn't heat that hot water. Here's our control center for our batteries. See what our voltage is at. We're at 13.1 there. Fresh water tank is empty, gray is empty, black is empty, and the propane's got 32%. So it says a percentage to full. Water pump, turn on a water pump right there when you're dry camping. Over here, we've got our control center for our optional generator. This one has the 3.6 uh, propane generator. So this is the uh, command start. It can set uh, the motorhome. If you want to set your temperature inside the motorhome, it will set the thermostat, set the, this to auto, and it will automatically come on if it gets too hot in the motorhome. You can set it by batteries. If the batteries get too low, it'll automatically come on. You can also set it by time. Certain campgrounds, you can't have the generators on until after 10 p.m. and before 8 p.m. You can set it by time. It will automatically turn off the generator. Over here, we've got our 2,000 watt pure sine wave inverter that's standard on all leisure travel van motorhomes pure sine wave is what you want because that is clean energy making sure that we're when we're recharging our toys our computers iPhones things like that that it doesn't damage them in any way okay in the door area a nice little place here for storing our shoes we also have our controls for our ceiling lights you cannot they actually have built-in dimmer switches as well this is for your outside light switch there for turning on that we have our step light outside light uh, screen door you can see here easy to open and close I like how we've got Got some uh, bracing in there so if you have pets they don't go through the screen door place here to uh, hang your jackets all done with ultra leather I like this privacy at night you've got your uh, privacy uh, blind it's a nighttime blind locks in place there okay we're gonna go over to the galley side let's start with this compartment in over here once again you know beautiful curved doors European hidden hinges soft clothes Look how they lock in place. This is where we have our entertainment area. So we have our smart Blu-ray player. We have our TV switcher box. So I could watch Blu-ray TV here, which we are right now. I could watch normal television over on the other side. This is also where you'd put your satellite receiver. We're all pre-wired for satellite dish. And we also have a T4 wine guard satellite dish that does dish, direct, or bell that you can get on the roof. And we also have some quick coax connections here for your satellite receiver. We also have a uh, wine guard 2.0 Wi-Fi booster, 4G capability, and a TV antenna all in one. So uh, you can boost uh, free Wi-Fi signal, or you can um, also buy that service and be uh, your own walk-in hotspot with uh, 4G as well. So above the galley here, we got some nice, big, beautiful, deep cabinets, full-size plate fits in there. That's very important. We also have some shelves up here for cups. I like this. We have daytime shades and nighttime shades. Once again, all awning-style windows. As you can see, we can open and close the windows. It can be pouring rain outside. I can still have lots of fresh air coming in. I like this little counter extension in the galley. Very, very smart. Two burner spark ignition stove. Fire is all up right there. Make sure that the flame is completely out before you close this. Nice big galley area, of course, done in Antarctica countertops. We also do concrete. This is solid Korean. Over here, we've got a nice place for a garbage can, or a lot of people just fill that with ice and use that as a ice chest. 
Also, we got a nice place here for paper towel for our accessory channel, place here for your spices, cleaning supplies, things like that. We have our under galley lights here, all LED lights as well, and an inverted plug. So if you wanna run your coffee maker or your toaster, we have a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter uh, that you can run that off of as well. Deep, deep stainless steel sink which is very, very nice, and chrome faucet. So nice, big galley area. And of course, what galley area wouldn't be complete because you need some storage, look at this. Nice full drawer extension glides, look at that, all the way out. Full water filtration on all Unity models. And you can see it all has soft clothes in our drawers. Beautiful curve, this is a reverse curve door, look at that. Beautiful reverse curve, curved door on this side, lots of storage underneath here. Easy access to our water filter, and it's a charcoal water filter, and easy access to our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. Plus over on this side, look at this, more storage underneath the sink area. So a great galley, lots of counter space, and lots of storage space. And plus the piece de resistance in the galley is this beautiful pull-out pantry. Look at that, I can store all of my Jenny Craig products from the COVID-19 fat pandemic that I have done to myself. And then above here, we've got a great storage area above the TV with the sound bar. And we've got our fantastic fan. This is a 12 volt fantastic fan. So it runs off the battery power. Beautiful exhaust fan. And I mean, this moves some serious air, look at this. On the other side of the galley, we've got our beautiful three-way fridge. So that runs on 120 power electrical. It runs on propane and 12 volt. We have three different ways to run the refrigerator when you're RVing. So what's beautiful about this, we have a separate freezer, separate fridge, and opens this way as well. Look at this. So I can, in the back bedroom area, I can grab a drink. I don't have to come all the way to the front of the motorhome. And right here we've got our convection microwave, which is a standard microwave and a convection microwave for baking. Nice big microwave. And then above here, some more storage area for things that you might not use all the time. Kind of a little hidden storage area. Just before we move into the back bedroom area, right above the pantry here, the pull-up pantry, we have our thermostat. So residential style thermostat, so you can set your furnace, 16,000 BTU furnace. You can set your air conditioner, 15,000 BTU air conditioner. You can set your heat pump. You can set the fans on the air conditioner. And when you order the optional propane generator, we have auto gen start. So that all works together for if the uh, motorhome got hot and you want it and you had the auto gen start, it would turn on the generator, which would then turn on the air conditioner, cool down the motorhome. Great if you have pets. So so residential style thermostat, always leave the fans on auto and uh, would be used just like you would at home. Now what makes the twin bed and the island bed very unique is two separate living areas. What I mean by that is look at this, this door comes across and it blocks off the main living room area from the bedroom area. So I have two separate living areas, which is a fantastic feature on the island bed and twin bed model. Okay, so let's go and look at the bedroom area on the twin bed and on the island bed. So we're in the twin bed area. Now this is a great use of space. We've got our beautiful pitcher windows with cross ventilation, awning style. We have uh, daytime shade. You can see we've got built-in holders right here. It's quite windy out right now. You can see how they hold in place. I also have nighttime shades for privacy. Lots of light, lots of natural light, lots of LED lighting. The lighting in the cabinets up above looks fantastic. I have a TV here for uh, watching TV at night. You can use this as a work area, sleeping area. Of course, we have the two twin beds in this situation so you can sleep two separate people plus you can have two separate twin beds for sleeping or we have two filler sections that fill in here makes it into one huge king bed over 88 inches wide before we show you the different sleeping area configurations let's talk about storage look at the storage that you have the upper cabin is beautiful look at this curve did you see that both sides look at that storage storage and more storage. Once again, all soft close. And then look at this above here, more storage. Absolutely fantastic. If you need storage space, the twin bed has a ton. We're not done with storage yet in the twin bed area. Look at this, two hanging closets. Plus we have storage underneath the beds as well. Look at this, great storage area. 
And this is very unique storage here. I've had customers say this is where they, if they have a cat, they carry a cat. This is where they put the kitty litter box, which I think is fantastic. But a great place for shoes, sandals, things like that, kind of hidden out of the way. We're still not done with storage. This sounds crazy. Most motorhomes don't even have half the storage. But look, nice big storage area down here. Easy access from inside or outside. And over on this side, some more storage area. This is where we keep our uh, table for the front living room area. We also have access to our water pump and access to our water tank down here. So great area for additional bedding, things like that. Put them down in there and look at that. It just closes down real nice. And plus, I'm still not done with storage. Look at this. This is crazy. Two pull-out drawers, full drawer extension glides. I really like this. You can sit in bed, sit up and read. A lot of motorhomes, you can't. You got to sit down like this because they don't have enough headroom. But look, I have lots of headroom. I'm well over six foot one in length with a 34 inch inseam, so I've got lots of room. And here we've got USB charging ports, inverted plugs if you have a sleep acme machine, sits right there. Also done on this side, I also have my LED lights with dimmer switches for reading at night. And you're gonna absolutely love the two big picture windows that we have in the, in the twin bed and on the island bed. Awning style windows you can open up, lots of cross ventilation, lots of natural light. And over here, a second TV, which is great. I can actually watch TV in bed or hook up my PlayStation and play some video games, why not? Okay, two separate twin beds. These twin beds are 34 inches wide, so nice big twin bed. If you wanna make it into a king bed, look at this. This just comes across. This is my platform base. These come with the motorhome. They're made exactly the same as the mattress itself. And now I have a beautiful king size bed, 88 inches wide. Isn't that crazy? Look at this, you could easily sleep this way if you wanted to, but you can see how much room you have. It's absolutely incredible. This is one big bed. Okay, we're in the Unity Island bed right now to show you some of the features. So very important, twin bed and island bed share the same front end. Big difference is a beautiful walk around island bed. And underneath this walk around island bed, we have a beautiful storage area underneath where we store our table and also our cushion for the front to make that into a single bed at the front. Pull out drawers, full extension drawers. You can see how they pull all the way out. Nice, big, deep and storage on each side here. Storage over here. So lots of great storage on the island bed. Two hanging closets, pull out drawer on this side, pull out drawer on this side. Beautiful, nice big upper cabinets here. And of course the feast de resistance, the island bed. Absolutely fantastic, nice big bed. Beautiful for two people, you can sit up in bed. So yeah, big difference between the twin bed and the island bed. We have two side hanging closets and we have the upper cabinets, look how deep those are. So nice, big, beautiful walk around island bed on the Unity IB. One of the great features in the twin bed and the island bed is this nice, beautiful two-piece bathroom. So separate stand-up shower, has its own shower curtain that actually squeegees the water, keeps it clean. Beautiful skylight for lots of natural light. And look how much room and height that I have. Well over 24 inches this way. And you can see I don't even touch the top here, which would be about 6'5 to the top. Got a nice little shower head here. We have a little um, flow restrictor on there for our dry campers that wanna save water. Of course, hot and cold running water. We have the Truma Acugo Comfort Plus hot water heater. Place here for your towels, LED light. If you wanna hang your towels or you want to drip dry your clothes, it can drip dry into the shower pan. You're not getting any water on the floor. So nice, big stand-up shower. I love the handle for getting in and out. So easy in. Easy out. Also on the back side of the door, we have a beautiful big dressing mirror that you can get ready in the morning and you can block off with this door blocking it off. I have a separate big bathroom, bedroom area. And uh, make sure you visit our Leisure Travel Van store and get the latest Leisure Travel Van clothing so that when you're driving down a Leisure Travel Van, you can be driving in the gear and the hats and you'll, you'll look fantastic. I'm sure that you will. Hey, this is the second part of the two-piece bathroom. Beautiful curved door, got some storage area in here. We have a beautiful second fantastic fan. Look at that. Very nice LED lights. Absolutely fantastic. Corian countertops, stainless steel sink. Beautiful little storage area underneath the sink as well. 
We have a medicine cabinet over up on this side, which is very, very nice. Place here to hang your towels. We've also got a macerator toilet. So what a macerator toilet does is it turns up all the solids, grinds them up and shoots them into the black tank. So a macerator marine grade China toilet that's on all island bed and twin bed models and that switch button is right here we also have another 110 plug here water pump switch there very important and of course our LED light switch but you can see what a nice big bathroom area secondary mirror here for getting ready in the morning but lots and lots of room in a small coach remember we're only 25 feet one inch in total length 19 foot house I've got a two-piece residential style dry bathroom. Wow, Unity twin bed and island bed, absolutely fabulous motorhomes. Look at that, two separate living areas, front and back. Okay, let's talk about what powers the beautiful island bed and twin bed motorhomes. The Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis. If you've never driven a Benz, I would suggest that you take one out for a drive. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, the Unity's always been powered by the Mercedes-Benz chassis. They upgraded their chassis a few years ago. We just wanna talk about some of the really cool features. So standard is our V6 engine, three liter, 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque. She rolls down the highway, seven-speed automatic transmission, 170-inch wheelbase, so it is fun to drive. Electric power steering is one of the new features that they have. If you have never driven electric power steering, it's absolutely fantastic. Keyless start right here, runs right off the, uh, fob here 10.25 inch monitor basically it's just like an ipad you can run the entire system you also have a voice communications for uh, navigation as well hey mercedes how can i help absolutely fantastic we're good thank you very much so uh serious radio now available as a subscription am fm of course we have air conditioning power windows power mirrors one of the new features is we have power seats and they're heated as well new climate control system which is quite nice and the really big one of course is the adaptive cruise control a couple safety features that they've added which are up in here that triangle we talked about that you got front collision impact assist lane keeping assist traffic sign assist braking assist and they have side wind stabilization so lots of great safety features on the mercedes-benz chassis on the mbux from mercedes-benz we've got apple carplay Android Auto, streaming Bluetooth, and of course we can easily hook up our cell phones to it as well. On the navigation system, which you can voice command or you can manually enter your location, you get free upgrades on the navigation system for three years from Mercedes-Benz. Some other really cool features, lots of USB charging ports, plus you can also charge your phone right here. We also have great storage area above, little cubby holes all throughout, and lots of drink holders. They've got drink holders everywhere in the doors. We've got four up front. Got lights up here for your map lights. Just lots of great area, and it's big. Like, it feels really big. It's easy for me. I'm six foot one. Look at this. Easily stand up. I don't crush my head, and I can walk to the back of the motorhome. So let's talk about the steering wheel. A nice, beautiful leather wrap. we got tilt steering, telescopic steering, just depending on how tall you are. By the way, I have a 34-inch inseam. I can... Uh, I have to move the seat forward to get to the accelerator and the brake. That's how much room you have. So if you're tall, you're going to absolutely love the Mercedes-Benz. So on the steering wheel controls, the left side controls everything here on the dash. The right side controls everything here on the right side of the motorhome. A couple other additional safety features. We have front airbags here, here, and also in the seats as well. Also, when you buy a leisure travel van, we give you two years of roadside assistance, which uh, for emergency fuel, lockout service. You also have a concierge service if you need service or repairs anywhere in Canada and the United States. And please make sure if you have a leisure travel van on order or you have one is to join my LTV. It's absolutely fantastic. We have walkthrough videos virtually on everything in the motorhome. So you can see all the different things on how to run your leisure travel van. Plus, we have different photo contests throughout the year and you can join a traveler's club and you can get together with other leisure travel van customers. So make sure you join my LTV. Wow, that is one incredible interior. Twin beds in the back, make into a king bed. The beautiful bed sleeping area up front on the new 2022. If you thought the inside was great, let's have a look at the outside of the 2022 Unity Twin Bed. So we're on the passenger side or the camp side of the Unity Twin Bed. Let's have a look at a few different things. If you're in a really tight area, remember we're seven feet, 10 inches wide, you can move the mirrors in and out. These are power heated mirrors as well. We've got a nice fiberglass step for getting in and out. Our integrated 
and fiberglass work from the chassis into the body gives it a beautiful look and right here we've got our switches for our awnings so we just simply press our awning here we've got an LED light look at that it turns off and on power awning it's got a wind sensor mechanism to it so if it starts to blow wind the awning will automatically go back up if it's a super windy day don't put your awning out we don't want to lose an awning over some windy wind conditions. So the awning is going to come out about 12 feet in length and it's going to come out about 7 feet wide and you can see how simple that is to put the awning out. Like I said we can make camp in about two minutes. Automatic leveling jacks which is a nice little option to have. Press those down, slide out the awning, hey we're ready to RV. And if you get a little bit of a windy condition look at this. Boom! The awning will automatically go back in. Okay, as we work our way down, another nice little feature here. We got a little courtesy light for getting in and out. Once again, integrated fiberglass into our main vacuum bonded wall, 16,000 BTU furnace. So let's talk about some storage space. This is very important. So, a couple of nice little things here. This is called an EPDM rubber hinge seal. So, that moves the, our door up, full fiberglass door. All of our compartments are galvanized sheet metal, which means that they're not going to crack, they're not going to rot, they're not going to rust. They're super strong. We line them all, strut on all the doors so it's not going to fall and hit you in the head. And we have a nice locking system here. See how that locks in, drags the door underneath. And for 2022, we also have a key that's specially designed for our leisure travel vans right here. We call this our switchblade key. And you can see there it is right there. And we can lock our doors and nobody can get into your compartments. So that's nice and locked up. There we go. Can't get in and out nice and sealed as well. As we work our way down we have a nice little option keyless entry system so I can lock it right off the Mercedes-Benz lo lock so it's locked up solid or I can unlock the doors. We also have a built-in screen door which is very nice and we also have our RV house batteries underneath here so standard is AGM batteries we also have an option for two lithium batteries and we have our step here which so we have uh, in camping mode or non camping mode which will automatically bring the up and down if you have it on camping mode and you accidentally leave the step locked when you turn on the ignition it will automatically go back up so a couple of nice little things here we've got uh, lights here exterior light here we also have a light in the handle as well this is your venting for your three-way refrigerator so it runs on propane runs 120 power electric and also 12 volt power okay in this compartment here we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter that's standard on all of our motorhomes over here we have our shore power connection this is our 30 amp shore power connection once again nice big storage area and of course you can lock them in place as well as we're going down let's talk about the wall and roof and floor construction so walls roof and floor are all vacuum bonded what basically becomes one piece one piece roof one piece walls one piece floor and super super strong so our walls and our roof are all boxed aluminum welded framing and then vacuum pressed vetrolite exterior skin and full body paint i am not going to hit it anymore because i hurt my arm last time but this is super super strong and let's talk about this beautiful paint job so this is full body paint three coats of color three coats of color two coats of clear okay for 2022 we have eight different exterior colors and we know you're going to be able to pick one that you're going to love when you're rolling down the highway this is the champagne color we also have two new colors for 2022 we have shadow atlantic blue we also have eurosport white suede silver graphite and glacier eight different exterior colors this is a nice option for all of our dry campers you might not have a picnic table when you go to your campsite well we have one that you can option out right here it's all done in aluminum powder coated it's got adjustable legs and it just locks in place right like this and look at that boom beautiful exterior table and the nice thing about this table we have a 120 electrical outlet plug here so if you wanted to have an outside uh, barbecue electric grill you could easily use it there we also have a quick connect propane connection right underneath here so if you want to run your barbecue on there as well you can see it's right there you can run a barbecue have it on the table do your cooking once you're done your cooking then you can use it as a dining room table so nice little option to have exterior 
table. Okay, as we work our way down the motor room, we didn't talk about the floor, so that's vacuum bonded. So steel frame, box tubular steel, vacuum pressed, half inch plywood, top decking, one piece linoleum across the entire floor, vacuum pressed, super strong one piece. As we work our way down our fiberglass fender skirt, standard or steel rims on the Mercedes-Benz chassis. This is a nice option to have, which are called Alcoa aluminum rims. We go with six aluminum rims, so the inner and the outer. On the outside, we have the Durabrite finish on it. Gives it a beautiful shine. You can check your inner and outer tire pressure, so nice option to have if you want to go with aluminum rims. Alcoa aluminum rims, and there's six of them. So look up here, we got our beautiful, sexy, frameless, awning style windows. Absolutely fabulous. They look absolutely great with this champagne exterior color. And look how the awning style window means that it opens up from the inside, doesn't slide across. It can be pouring rain outside. I can still have my windows open. And a nice thing on the IB and the TB is the back bedroom area has two picture windows. So you have cross ventilation and lots of natural light. Okay, in this compartment here, we have our optional generator. So you have two choices here, 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator. It runs off the diesel fuel tank, or you can go with the 3.6 kilowatt Onan propane generator that runs off the 15 gallon propane tank. You can option out either generator. When you order the optional propane generator, you get auto gen start. Okay, storage is very important in any motorhome, and usually the smaller the motorhome, the less storage you have. With the IB and the TB, we have storage. So look at this, another little storage bin underneath here, built in strut, EPDM rubber hinge seal, and look at this, the piece the resistance pass through exterior storage. So the slight difference between an island bed and a twin bed is the twin beds get about 11 inches, almost 12 inches of pass-through storage, where the island bed has about 24 inches all the way through. Okay, we're at the back of the motorhome. You can see full fiberglass, molded fiberglass rear mass. We go in two-piece mass, so separate bumper area from the main mask. This is a nice little feature to have if somebody were to hit you here, you can just replace this part. And up there, we've got our built-in backup camera that runs off the Mercedes-Benz 10.25 inch monitor up front. Of course, our beautiful Leisure logo. This is a fully insulated rear wall as well. LED lights. We talked about the separate bumper. And down here, we've got our uh, receiver hitch. So we've got a 5,000 pound receiver hitch, seven pin connector for towing. So always remember that the Mercedes-Benz has an 11,030 pound GVWR and the GCWR is 15,250 pounds. Okay, we're over on the driver's side. Of course, we have our beautiful frameless glass windows. And just to show you that storage, look at this. So not only we pass through here, but look at all the storage here and it's accessible from underneath the bed as well. So lots of exterior storage, fantastic. And down here we have our service center for our outside area. Nice thing about this service center, everything is all in one spot. So you don't have to go to that side of the motorhome and over to that side of the motorhome. Everything is right here and you can do all your servicing for the motorhome. So let's talk about dumping the tanks. Nobody likes to talk about that, but here's your three inch dump station here. Hook up your blue hose. You pull your black first and then you do the gray that cleans out the hose. We have a nice option for a macerator pump, which means that everything is all connected. It actually will pump the waste out of the motorhome. It can actually pump uphill. It's only a one inch line. So some people have a sewer at home they can dump at home. And all of our motorhomes, we always include the three inch dump hose. Even if you order the optional macerator pump, we still give you the three inch dump hose for dumping the tanks. Over here, we have our propane fill. Back here, we've got our black water flush. So what that does is that's gonna clean the black water tank. If you're gonna use the black water flush, you wanna make sure that your hose is connected into a sewer area, your black line is open, and then that's how you clean your black water. Over here, we've got our satellite connection and our cable connection. So we're pre-wired for satellite satellite dish up on the roof and we're also pre-wired on the ground if you have a ground stationary satellite dish you can plug that into there over here we've got our propane on and off switch so if you go in when you're filling up the propane you want to make sure that's off sometimes when you're going on ferries underneath tunnels you have to make sure that's off you can see how simple it is to turn off water pump right here so if you want to use your exterior shower or your water pump you can just turn the button on here and you can use your exterior shower pretty easy it's a little quick connect here my good friend steve had a hard time with this so we're going to show him how to do it that just plugs in there and look at this got hot and cold running water just turn on that pump right there so when we want to fill up our uh, fresh water tank so what we're going to do is we're going to run it up underneath here 
and that way we can close that that way nobody can tamper with your water plug it in there we have our shore water and our uh, tank water for filling it up right here and this is a little uh, pickup hose which can be used for a couple different things for example I'm dry camping right now if I wanted to put some water into my freshwater tank I can actually put this in there and suck the water up into my freshwater tank if I'm winterizing the coach in the winter time I can put RV antifreeze and I can suck that up and run RV antifreeze throughout the motorhome here's our winterizing bypass valve so you want to use that when you're winterizing the coach so as you can see everything in the service center is right here it's all in one spot and it's pretty easy to set up your camp take down your camp and winterize your motorhome working our way down the driver's side we've got our optional co-aluminum rims fiberglass skirt on the back this is where you plug in your 30 amp shore power connection to right there and actually when you're hooked into power and it's good power it'll light up blue so you know you've got power plus standard we have a surge protector on all of our motorhomes the surge protector prevents bad power from coming into the motorhome so you may be plugged into shore power and you may think you have power you're plugged in and there's no power coming in the motorhome always check that surge protector protector because it may be stopping bad power from entering the motorhome and damaging your electronics then up in the uh, galley area you've got a beautiful once again frameless glass window awning style window so you can have some more fresh air into the motorhome Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater standard on all leisure motorhomes and this is the best instant hot water heater on the market today comes out of germany from truma so what makes it so great it has a one liter reserve tank here when you have it on comfort plus it keeps that water nice and warm so when you turn on the faucet in the kitchen the bathroom or the shower you've got instant hot water as it uses up that hot water heat exchangers are are firing up and then you have continuous unlimited hot water truma aquago comfort plus hot water heater fantastic hot water heater on all leisure motorhomes okay if you thought all that storage at the back remember this over here all this pass-through storage wow look at this more storage this is crazy exterior storage and here's where we always keep our our blue discharge hose three inch line right there that comes on all the motorhomes so in a nice little area tucked away but look at this big storage area pass through on the passenger side and more storage on the driver's side also look at this we spray foam all of our compartments and all of our tanks underneath with spray foam prevents damage a little insulation value which never hurts but that's important underneath the fender wells underneath all the compartments and all the tanks spray foamed Okay, as we work our way down on the driver's side here, you can see we got our beautiful molded fiberglass into the chassis. And speaking of that, look at this. This is a clean running diesel engine, so it runs clean running, low sulfur diesel. And you can also use some biodiesel, but always refer to the uh, owner's manual for that. But I like this, you can fill it up. No diesel fumes into the motorhome. And then when it's locked, nobody can tamper with your diesel fuel. I like that beautiful fiberglass fender skirt for getting in. This one has the optional Alcoa aluminum rims. Once again, this will move in out of the way, which is very, very nice. You can just pull it back out. They're also heated. Okay, as we work our way to the front of the motorhome, look how beautiful this motorhome is. Beautiful curved walls, full fiberglass flex roof up on the roof, molded fiberglass front mask here all insulated as well you can see how all the lines of the mercedes-benz chassis tie into the lines of the motorhome looks fantastic so what powers the unity motorhomes we talked about a little bit earlier is the mercedes-benz 3500 series cutaway chassis 170 inch wheelbase absolutely beautiful high intensity led lights automatic windshield rain sensors and windshield wiper fog lights built in as well and if you look up here easy to clean the windshield with our step but right here is our sensor lots of safety features make sure you keep that clean we've got front collision impact assist lane keeping assist we've also got traffic side assist and adaptive cruise control nothing in the world looks like a leisure travel van when you're rolling down the highway you'll see them from miles away make sure you give them a little wave when you see them Wow, what a fantastic motorhome. Unity Twin Bed, Unity Island Bed. Two beautiful small motorhomes with sleeping up to four people with the optional air mattress. Twin Bed has the two twin beds at the back. Island Bed has the single walk around island bed. I mean, just fantastic. If you need a small motorhome that can go anywhere in Canada and the United States, federal parks, state parks, provincial parks, any park, great interior, great 
exterior storage. I mean, this is one fun motorhome. You got to go to a leisure travel van dealer and see one in person. You're going to absolutely love it. Hey, want to thank everybody for watching our video. Please make sure you smash that bell and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We always have lots of great contact and new stuff every month on our leisure travel van YouTube channel. And we really appreciate all the customers that have supported leisure travel vans over the last few years. We know it's been a, a tough time and the no better way to get through tough times than to be going RVing in a leisure travel van. So make sure you go and see your local leisure travel van dealer, get one of these unities and go RVing. You're going to love it. Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, catch you next time. You can configure your leisure travel van today. We have build-in price. You can compare floor plans. You can pick colors of exterior, interior wood colors, leather colors. Plus you can pick all of the options and you can price it out and know exactly what you're getting in your leisure travel van.